All right, let's talk about Tor. So many people use tools like Tor, right, for privacy. Tor is actually a free tool that allows users to surf the web anonymously. Tor works by routing IP traffic through a free worldwide network of thousands of Tor relays. Then it constantly changes the way the traffic is routed to obscure or hide the location of the user from anyone monitoring the network. Um, if you must know, right, Tor's name is an acronym of the original software's uh, project's name, which is called the Onion Router. So what's the impact of Tor to data visibility? So the use of Tor also makes security monitoring and incident response more difficult, as it is difficult to attribute and trace traffic back to the user. There are various types of malware that use Tor to cover their own tracks. This onion routing is accomplished by encrypting the application layer of a communication protocol stack that is nested just like the layers of an onion. The Tor client encrypts the data multiple times and sends it through a network or circuit, which includes randomly selected Tor relays. Each relay decrypts the onion layer to reveal only the next relay so that the remaining encrypted data can be routed to it. You can see the Tor circuit when the user accesses like Cisco.com from the Tor browser. It went first to a host in the Netherlands, then to host in Sweden and France, and finally to Cisco.com. A Tor exit node is essentially the last Tor node or the gateway where the Tor encrypted traffic exits to the internet. The Tor exit node can be used to monitor uh, Tor traffic. Many organizations are blocking the exit nodes of Tor in their environment. The Tor project has a dynamic list of Tor exit nodes that makes this task a little easier. You can download this Tor exit node list from https checktorprojectorg slash exit dash addresses. Security products such as Cisco NextGen FarPower software provide the ability or the capability to dynamically learn and block Tor exit nodes.